I see where it would be a good lead-in to kinesthetic. Kinesthetic is basically like Logan had described before. Is, is it can be feelings, emotions. Uh, it, it's tactile. It's taste, and it's um, it's olfactory. It's it's our smell, our sense of smell. Um, when you're working with someone, um, the rapport is a lot of where the kinesthetic part of this is going to come from. A lot of the kinesthetic information is just sort of a felt sense that you're connected with this person or not connected with this person. Um, what we're going to do is it's really not something you can do as a coach so much unless you're doing anchoring. And anchoring kind of becomes its own thing, so we're not going to really do a whole lot of anchoring. Is anybody here that's not familiar with anchoring? Let me say that. We're all familiar with anchoring. Okay. So it's just about combining a state with a touch. And a state is heavily uh, kinesthetic, and the information that you're getting to develop that state is usually coming in from one specific channel, visual or auditory. What we're going to do um, as a way to help get in touch with the kinesthetic is we're going to um, have groups of three. And for this one, we're doing, we're going light here. So let me get, let me just bring up two people. Um, who wants to come up just to show a demonstration of this? And uh, John, or Bart, you haven't been up, have you? Come on in. So this drill is focused in on feeling a touch. So it's really about pressure and temperature. You may be able to notice some other cues, but that's really what this one is focused in on. So only groups of three? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and step forward so you can't see. So what we're, what we're gonna, how this is going to work is um, basically I'm going to touch her shoulder, and she knows it's me. She's going to calibrate this. So just get a sense of my touch. Mm -hmm. um, Say your name as you touch them, right. and then when, through the next process, she's going to say the name of the person that she believes is touching. Right, and this is not something you're going to do in the exercise, but I just want you to become aware of my touch and what what information do you get? If it, you know, even if it's very limited, just tell me what you're getting from this. Um, pressure, weight. Uh, temperature. Okay, can you get more specific about each one of those? Um, pressure, I'd say eight ounces of pressure um, uh, just on the top of the shoulder. Um, temperature, pretty cool. Okay, so when you're the person who's being touched, you, you want to take inventory of that and you want to get specific in your mind. But as part of the exercise, you're not supposed to tell. I mean, it's not that's not a part of the exercise, but as this person, you're going to want to get into the exact details of everything that you're feeling, and that's going to become important because then Mer, you would touch her shoulder, and again, you want to take inventory of this. Mm -hmm. What are some of the details that you get from this? Um, warm, I can feel uh, fingers and thumb differentially. Okay, so um, what is the difference between the two touches that you just felt? Uh, larger area, this is a larger area, this is warmer. Um, Okay, so she's calibrating this, and Mert would then say her name. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a hand down. So I did it, and I would say my name. Mert does it, says her name. And you can ask the person, do you need another calibration? And if she says yes, it means I do this again, I say Damon. Mm -hmm. I take my hand off, and then. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you take your hand down. Then you do this without saying your name. And you randomly, one person puts their hand there, and then she's going to say who that person is. And she and so the touch here. Here's where it gets tricky. I, my touch might not be exactly the same as it was before. So it's she has to really pull on the details that she took inventory of between the two to be able to say who this was. Can we change our touch to see if she can. You want to try to do the same touch as each other from the beginning and then not alter it so much. Then that's going to give them the best. So that way you're not. Purposely misleading yeah, you know, with things. If your touch will be different. You don't want to purposely make it different, but it's going to be different every time. Okay. So, and this is really just about getting in touch with those, uh, with, with your kinesthetic um, representational system. It's not as important that you get it right as you're looking for it. That you're you're bringing, you're letting the information in, you're taking notice of it. So if you're not getting it right, if you don't name the right person every time, it's not that you're you're no good at this or anything. It's really just about noticing touch in a way that you have not noticed it before. Mm -hmm. okay.
And did you say try, both of you tried to do the same catcher? Yeah, from the beginning. That's yeah. just the easiest thing. Well, to keep it well no, one person keep doing the same way, or both of you try to do the one? Your no. touch stays the same. Keep your touch the same. Don't try to emulate the other person's touch. Okay. okay so you do it a couple times, each person saying their name, so the person can calibrate the differences. Okay. And then you, you stop saying your name, you continue yeah. with the touch, okay. and then she's going to say the name of the person she believes to be touching based on the calibration. Random way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then if you have time, maybe try it on the, on the same, you know, same person on a different shoulder and see if they can still get the same information and know who's touching, even though it's a different shoulder. So are we doing on the same shoulder? To yeah, right at first, okay. and then if you have time, yeah, calibration, and then for her to, to test it to see if she can do it, yeah. and then if you have time. Yes, <laughs> 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 yeah, so if you always touch on the right shoulder and she touches on the left, it's pretty easy calibration. We want to get a little tougher than that. Yeah. Okay. So groups of three people run through this drill. It shouldn't take too long. Okay.